Hey guys, uh, we're coming to you live from inside the gym. I've got a Ben, our facilities manager here, and Deb, our operations manager. Uh, so you know I own the gym with Rachel, and we're making an official announcement. Uh, we've been monitoring the COVID situation, and as of this evening, the governor is shutting down bars and restaurants. So we feel like it's in our best interest talking to a landlord, talking to some business mentors. Um, that is the, and then talking to our management team here. It is the best idea, and it's the right thing to do that we are going to shut down the gym for two weeks, starting close of business on Friday. We will close the gym 7 p.m. on Friday, and we will reopen for April, uh, which is a Saturday at. 9 a.m. for open gym and then 10 a.m. for class. Um, I know many of you are going to have questions about this, so we are about to discuss our plan of action. Um, so just a reminder, we are closing Friday, close of business at 7 p.m. and we will reopen Saturday, April 4th. Unless, or that is subject to change, if we are forced to shut down sooner uh, due to a governor or an executive order, we will let you guys know uh, so without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Deb, our operations manager. She's going to talk about membership options, and then we're going to turn it over to Ben, uh, who's just going to talk about one of the options in terms of facilities. Guys, we ask that this is all new to us. Um, we just want to make sure, I know uh, or we've got a few groups of members in the gym, those are that are taking it serious. Um, those that are still haven't quite got there yet, that's fine. We just want to make sure we do our part to stay ahead of this uh, and doing the right thing. We are in the health and wellness industry, and we it is part of our moral responsibility that we or that we look out for the well-being of our members, and that's what we're doing. That's why we're acting on this. If you have any questions about why we're doing this, um, feel free to talk to us. I know Ben and I we've had some lengthy discussions under the like outside of class about this so as of Deb and I and I trust these two uh, in their opinion that's why we're making this as a team um, I know the next two weeks is going to be difficult not having Jim um, so with that let's discuss about the options all right hey guys um, let's talk about our membership options so we have three options for you the first option is just going to be to continue your membership as is, which uh, is going to be the best option for us as a gym for our future. Um, we would really love the support as we are a small business and anything that takes away from us um, could hurt us in the, in the future. So please, if you can, continue your membership as is. What we're offering with that is if you do choose to continue your membership as is, we're going to offer you some equipment rental options and um, Ben's gonna go over those options, but we're going to allow you to rent out equipment. There'll be certain limitations with that, and um, if you do wish to rent out the equipment, um, it's gonna be first come, first serve, and also you'll need to let us know by 7 p.m. or get everything written or signed out from us by 7 p.m. on Friday. Um, we're not going to start renting that equipment out, though, until Friday, so if you come in today asking for equipment, Let's not do that, all right? Let's wait until Friday. Um, with that, we're going to have a virtual class daily. So a coach will go on the Zoom app, and then if you cannot come at 9.30 to do that, that's okay. We're gonna post the link to the Facebook page, send it out to make sure if you wanna join us in the virtual class, you can. Um, and then there will also be a lesson plan along with the workout. So if you wanna do that without Zoom, you can. Um, the, third membership, or the third membership option is gonna be um, to choose to prorate. So we can prorate you and we will do so for a two week period. So we'll prorate through to April 4th. So that will be a two week um, discount on your membership. Um, I think that, and oh yeah, so confirm that with us by uh, 12 o'clock on the 20th of March. So with that guys, with the third option, uh, we wanna put that out there, we understand uh, there's a lot of uncertainty coming around uh, financially, uh, what to spend money on. Obviously, a gym membership is a luxury, um, so we understand that. We've already been asked questions about that, so that's why we're given that option there. But it goes back to what Deb was saying. We are a small business. We do, uh, we will continue to have bills, payroll, rent, uh, certain utilities that are going. Um, and 
and depending on how the next month or two goes, that's why we're forecasting, it will affect us uh, long term. All right, um, as things shut down in the service industry, a lot of small businesses are going to be affected, and we're not immune to that as well. So we ask that option one or two be the best bet, but we understand that if it's already tight for you and you're already making sacrifices to make a membership, we want to work with you. So come talk to Deb first or myself, and we'll be happy to sit down and address that and uh, see what your options are. Um, now we're going to talk to Ben um, about the or about the equipment rental, which is option two. Ben, let's come on up. As our facilities manager, he's going to be responsible for the equipment. Um, so Ben, if you want to talk about that a little bit. So I'm just going to go over some of the, uh, the, the, the kind of guidelines that we're putting out right now for you guys if you're wanting to rent equipment. All right, um, first off, the timeline, again, you guys must confirm no later than 12 o'clock on Friday, this Friday, the 20th, that you want to rent equipment, all right? That means coming to talk to me, Jordan, or Deb, all right, to kind of to write you down, to reserve that equipment that you do want to rent um, prior to then. If you don't get, to, get it to us by then, we're already going to shut the gates and you're not going to be able to rent equipment. Um, but let's talk about our policy it's, and just understand that it's not limited to only suffering up here, all right? Um, and it is subject to change. Um, but equipment by precedence, all right? So uh, the CrossFit equipment is all going to be rentable to the CrossFit memberships, all right? So everything on the CrossFit side of the gym, that is gonna be available to you guys. You're gonna have up to 100 pounds in weight. Um, and just based off that equipment that we have over there. The same thing with open gym, you guys will have from the turf over to the open gym side. So that's gonna include um, all the free weights, the barbells, the dumbbells, all that side of the gym. Um, and then the Move 45 specialty classes will have their equipment the other side of the turf on the ID side um, for their equipment rental as well. Um, we're gonna limit you by weight and by quantity, all right? So each membership is going to have a certain number or a certain amount of weight that they can take um, based off of uh, what membership they have. Um, that could include up to you know 100 pounds for certain memberships, 200 pounds for certain memberships, just based off the equipment we have. But also by quantity, guys, just know that you're not going to be able to come in here and take all the kettlebells or all the dumbbells or all the free weights. All right. Uh, first come, first serve. So come right after this, guys, you can talk to myself, Jordan and Deb, all right? We'll write you guys down, you're gonna have precedence based off first come, first serve policy. The pickup is not gonna be until close of business on Friday, all right? So once you guys come in, that's when you guys will be able to pick up. There is going to be a damage fee um, if you return the equipment damaged, and it's gonna be based off the of weight and value of the equipment, all right? So depending on how much that equipment weighs and what the actual value it is, um, we will be assessing a damage fee if you return that to us damaged. Um, the transactions, please, 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 not talk to anybody else, whether they're staff or not, besides myself, Jordan, or Deb, in regards to the transactions. Um, you must sign a hand receipt before pickup, all right, so we're going to be filling out hand receipts, including the policy, the damage, policy, and everything else like that. You have to sign that before you're allowed to take the equipment. Um, and then drop off of the equipment is going to be no later than 12 o'clock on 4 April. All right, that's that two-week period, um, and that's when we're expecting that equipment to come back, return, undamaged. Please, guys, clean it. Don't return it to us all nasty and gross. All right, make sure that it's clean and disinfected. Um, and there are going to be limit on certain non-rental equipment. Again, not limited to these, but to include cardio machines. We're not running cardio machines. We're not running bands, PVC pipes, foam rollers, benches, squat racks. And guys, just because we have to stay at chalk and whiteboards, we're not running those either. All right? So, um, that's all I got for a quick rental. All right, guys. So again, um, we are going to push this out as soon as we're done here. Uh, so make sure that you guys check your text and then check your email, check Facebook, and then we're going to make a website post on this. Again, guys, we are uh, trying to offer s solutions the best way that we know to handle this. Uh, so we ask that you be patient with us understanding that we're trying to accommodate with you as so a few things that we need to discuss as of close of business on friday per our request from the landlord we will uh 
deny all access to the facility. We will, for the first time, I think in three or four years, lock the gate, um, and then we will reopen it uh, when we open the gym, okay? So don't think that you're slick. You're gonna see in here, that includes like coaches and owners as well. Um, also, with 24 hour access, uh, that will be suspended come 7 p.m. on Friday as well, and then we'll uh, reactivate those when we open up the gym. Uh, thank you guys. Um, again, make sure you guys do your part. It's not, and Ben and I were talking about this, it's not, like we're not worried about the healthy people, it's about us spreading germs. As I was telling Ben, we are one to two people of degrees of separation from that we know someone and, and what they're saying now. For every case, or every confirmed case, there's five to six unconfirmed cases yet to be discovered, not to scare you or anything, but we just need to be alert of what we're dealing with. Uh, thank you guys. You have until close of business on Friday to let Deb or myself know about option number three and option two. Please let us know what you choose. Option one, option two, or option three. After that, we will, it will be a case by case situation. Um, but if we don't hear from you by those days, we're assuming that you're gonna go with option one and we're gonna continue to roll. All right, thank you guys. Uh, and stay tuned for any changes or um, updates.